and we're going to go ahead and we're going to look for those colored bars. Now, let me see where they are. Uh, solid color text. Here it is. So we're going to drag this guy on top of the track. So right now, we have a nice color bar. I'm going to just go ahead and cut it right here because it is a little bit too long. Then what we're going to do is very simple. What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create an awesome glitch intro. And first off I would like to mention that I'm going to post two videos every single day through whole December so make sure to smash the like button down below and I will say let's get started. So as you can see right now we are in Vegas Pro 15 and what we need is uh, text, a uh, some colored bars and a sound effect. So this is the sound effect we're going to use in today's video to make the glitch intro. So that's going to be really, really cool. And let's get started. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Media Generators tab. We're going to click on Titles and Text. And we're going to drag that on top of our uh, sound effects. So what we're going to do then is we're going to just type in our name. Just Alex Halford. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit smaller though. Because it's it doesn't really fit on screen. Like this. I'm going to make it 30 or 35 maybe. That looks cool. We're going to also change the font, guys. Because I need to... I make it look like really cool. I think this font looks very nice. What we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to go ahead and make the text zoom in and make it um, just finish, make it finish zooming when this happens. When, when the boom happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to just time it. So I'm going to go to the event pan crop icon. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just ch uh, check sync cursor. Right here, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to create a keyframe. So I'm going to click on the restore button. And right here, I'm going to, at the beginning, we're, we're going to make it really, really, really small. So this is basically how it looks. So that, looks, that one looks really cool. And that's the zoom part. So what we're going to do then when the glitch sound effect happens right here. We're going to go ahead and make it nice and glitchy. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut it right here. That's very important. Then we're going to go to uh, the uh, Media Generators tab. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to look for those colored bars. Now let me see where they are. Uh, solid color text. Here it is. So we're going to drag this guy on top of the track. So right now we have a nice color bar. I'm going to just go ahead and cut it right here because it is a little bit too long. Then what we're going to do is very simple. We're going to go ahead and go to the Video Effects tab right here. And we're going to go ahead and look for a TV simulator. So I'm, just, so I'm going to scroll all the way down until we see the T. So I'm going to pick the TV simulator and I'm going to go ahead and drag the reset to none on top of the bars. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the line sync um, at the very beginning right here like so so as you can see that's nice and glitchy and then the vertical sync also uh, to the very beginning as you can see like this that one looks really really tight and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the static a little bit up like so so that is look that's looking very very cool already so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to the P and we're gonna look for the pixelate tab uh, the option which is going to be this one then what we're going to do is we're going to put the default one on top of the of the of the bars as you can see that's very obvious and then we're going to do is we're going to put those two almost up we're going to put them the same level like so we copy and paste it like that so that one looks really cool i'm going to make it a little bit longer so that looks really really tight and this is what we made already that looks really really cool and what we're going to do then is we're going to go to the compositing mode of the of the track of the black bar of the colored bars then we're going to go ahead and put this one to custom and we are going to pick vegas displacement map we're going to click on add click on ok and if i go ahead and play this back this is what it looks like so far So as you can see, this is how you create an awesome glitch intro. It is that simple. Is it is that straightforward? So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing. And make sure to stay tuned because in, in three hours I will be posting a brand new Vegas Pro uh, 14 compilation video. Because last year, well, at the beginning of this year, I stopped doing Vegas compilations. But right now I have a new season back, so I'm gonna start. Uh, I ended that series at episode 36. So when you're gonna see episode 37 in your 
Avengers Soapbox, you're probably gonna wonder, Alex, what the hell is that? What is episode 37? Well, that's a previously series I'm picking up again, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly an awesome, very cool Vegas compilation in three hours from now. That's gonna be at 3 p.m. PST, so that's it. This is how you create an awesome glitch intro, so that's it. I will see you guys, obviously, in three hours. Just Alex Halford.